I think that they, these animals, they are so special. The entire population of uh, Hills bottlenose dolphins is less than 600 animals. If the population declined and crashed, I think that we failed. I will not let this, this happen. When I was 12 years old, I was surfing and a group of dolphins approached me. And this was my first contact with these animals. And this connected me with, with um, not only with the bottlenose dolphins, but with the wildlife. And I think that uh, this is the most, um, this connection, we, we cannot lose this connection. It's very, very important to conserve the coastal ecosystem for the coastal communities. La Hill bottlenose dolphins, they are recognized as a subspecies of dolphin. As they are a coastal species, they are under several threats from the human uh, actions. The most acute is the bycatch and fishing nets. In the past, people believed that the, the marine resource was infinite. And they fish and fish and fish a lot, and this is a, a problem worldwide. The La Hill bottlenose dolphin starts to suffer with the bycatch. On average, on the, on the last 20 years, we recorded 12 animals per year that is dying around the Pats Lagoon estuary. And from this, 40% at least comes from the bycatch. The number of animals uh, dying each year could sound very low, but it's important to mention that the entire population of La Hills bottlenose dolphins is less than 600 animals. So when we have the removal of few animals, this represents a lot for the population. As much as possible, we go to the sea. So when the weather allows, we take the boat to look for the dolphins. When we find a group of dolphins, we photograph the dorsal fin of the animals that are present on that group. We evaluate the behavior of the animals in the group. We biopsy the dolphins. The skin samples we use for the genetic analysis and the blubber samples we are using to conduct uh, a study on, on the contamination of, this, uh, of these animals. We know uh, almost 70% of the population has uh, natural marks that makes possible to identify individually each, each dolphin. So, uh, it, this is so amazing because when we are in the field, we can recognize each, each animal during our sampling. In 2005, we conducted a study here, and we showed with this study that there was a large overlap between the, the areas used by bottlenose dolphins and the artisanal fishermen. Fishermen are not respecting the area. Fishermen need to fish. They need the income. But there was no social approach to explain people why they could not fish inside the area. It is very, very important to still collect data, but at the same time, now it's time to change the way uh, to do the conservation. Our mission now is, is turn the, the protected area fully effective against the bycatch. We have two, uh, two lines of actions to get people involved. One is uh, we're going to give training for um, three, three local groups of people that are completely involved with the marine uh, environment to, to a group of artisans from the artisanal fisher community, people that are um, involved with um, tourism on the coastal zone, and also to the lifeguards that are all the time looking for the sea. So we're going to train uh, these this, uh, people to, to be aware of the needs of uh, the conservation of the coastal environment. And at the same time, we're going we're to train um, the teachers uh, from the schools of the, 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 the municipality 
to act as a multipliers of knowledge, to use the bottlenose dolphins as a flag species uh, during during the, the during the school time, and and to make people more connected with these beautiful animals that we have. We are developing um, one uh, mobile application to be to use as a tool of monitoring the illegal fisheries. People can send us uh, uh, messages regarding the type of boat, the area that the boat are uh, fishing, where they are fishing, uh, if there are dolphins around. This information that are being generated, we are we think that this, mo this, this mobile application will, will make possible to people to interact with the project and engage the community towards the, the conservation of marine life. So if the population decline uh, in, in the next 40 years and crash it or extinct, I think we, we failed that we, what, what we did in the past was, uh, was not enough and, uh, and it was wrong, it will be a disaster, I would say, it will be a disaster. And I think that I, I will not let this, this happen. <laughs> it's hard to, to think about the distinction of a population that you are very, very connected. As a human being, um, we have the moral obligation to protect the marine environment and the nature as a whole. I will be very, very happy if we can avoid the decline of the population and then uh, allow the population to increase, reducing the bycatch and the conflicts between fishermen and the dolphins. <laughs>